Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model in the fastest way possible any 3D phone case in Fusion 360. But today we will focus on the iPhone 12 model. So, let's get started. For every single drawing the units are very important, so in order to set them correctly we will go here and we will check if it will work in millimeters or not because today's drawing will be in millimeters as well. So everything seems to be alright and now let's add the iPhone. We will go on Google and we can download every 3D model that we have. For today's video I will use the iPhone 12 model and I downloaded it from this website grabcat.com. I download the files and then I opened here. I use the open command here now I have the object. The most common problem when it comes to imported objects is the position. So in order to flip them correctly, let's first of all create a new component out of this body. Now let's rename it, let's call it for example iPhone and when it comes to the surfaces let's make them invisible. Moreover, when it comes to the history of this design, let's go here, right click, capture design history. And now we can see every single operation that we will make. Let's start first of all with the join command. So go here, select for example this point and make the region visible and select also this point to be exactly in the original. Flip it and now rotate it with 180 degrees. Now let's make the joints and the region invisible again. And as you can clearly see, our iPhone it is in the center of our design. Let's now create a new component. So let's go to new component and write here case. Now this is our active component as you can see and now we'll create a new sketch. So select this plan, press the P letter for the project command, this one and this one and we will create a parallel design. So go to offset but we'll make it parallel just with 0.25 millimeters. Now let's create another five lines. So let's go with a line 1.5 millimeter, another one in the in the back side with 2 millimeter, create another line here, another one here and of course another one here. We need a distance between those two lines out of 2 millimeters. So we will use sketch dimension or the D letter. Let's extend them. OK. And we are done. Finish the sketch, home button, and sweep it. This is our profile, the path. Select every single part of this boundary. and also here. Enter and as you can clearly see we have a simple bumper for our iPhone. Let's use now the fillet command. For the first part 2 millimeters press the plus sign and add extra 3 millimeters in the down part. Enter. Now let's use the chamfer and select this edge write 1.5 millimeter. The chamfer will enforce the overhand and it will 3D print better than a small fillet. Let's flip the drawing now and let's focus on the back. Let's create a parallel plane, so go to offset plane, select this surface and write minus 2. On this plane right click create sketch. Use the project command, so P letter and go here. As you can see we have this shape. Finish the sketch, extrude it until you reach this distance or you can write minus 2. The operation will be joined to be the same part and then press OK. Let's enforce it again, so go to the chamfer, select this edge and write 2. Don't forget to create openings for any charging ports and buttons to finish the phone case. So let's focus now on the charging port and the speakers. Home. Create a new sketch here. Make the case invisible and use the P letter. Make it visible, make the iPhone invisible and let's use the slot command. 
center to center slot from the first circle until you reach the last one and we will write here for example 2.5 millimeters. Exactly the same thing we'll do it in the other part as well. Center to center slot 2.5 millimeters. And when it comes to the charging port, offset it with one millimeter. Finish the sketch, extrude it, but select every single part. And now just drag the arrow and look like that. Chamfer for every single one, use the one millimeter and look like that. The same thing we must do it for each side. Let's start for example with this one. Create a new sketch, make the iPhone visible, the case invisible and then reverse them. Offset every single boundary with one millimeter and then you guessed it, you must extrude it. Drag the arrow, enter. The same thing here. Project. And again, let's use the offset command. We will add one millimeter extra and finish the sketch, extrude it. Drag the arrow. And for the last part, select the chamfer command again and select all five edges. And just write one millimeter and look like that. Also, if you want to add a color, press the E letter. For example, I will use today the plastic blue. You can also use whatever color you want. Or if you want to make your custom case, go in the back side, right click, create a new sketch. And for example, you can use a drawing, a shape, or also you can write something. So I go to the text command and I write here, for example, Mariscat, for example. OK, finish the sketch, extrude it, select the text and extrude it until you reach this surface. Enter. Now put the iPhone inside and select this to be our main component. And look like that. Our phone case is done. I hope this video helped you. Learn more about this program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me. Any service is just a click away. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.